Around this time last year, I created a video titled The Six Basics of Health. And this is similar to that, where we need to correct dietary and environmental problems. However, I'm going to be very specific. And although it's difficult to steer people away from modern medicine, there are some people that are willing to listen, usually in more severe circumstances. And to briefly and crudely summarize what causes some of these common diseases, heart disease is too much oxidized vegetable seed oils and calcium in the diet. Cancer is an overload of toxins from diet and environment, usually accompanied by high radiation levels. Dementia or Alzheimer's is a combination of environmental pollutants, usually a lot of aluminum, as well as certain deficiencies, animal protein-based, mainly B vitamins. Osteoporosis is a lack of vitamin D, K2, magnesium. That's typically accompanied by too much calcium, and that also applies to any sort of disease where you have excess calcification in any tissue in the body. Diabetes is impaired pancreatic function from dietary toxins and also high radiation in the environment. And this environmental radiation from various Wi-Fi cell phone devices is almost always a catalyst in every single scenario. So all of these are necessary, but I will start in order of importance, AKA disease impact reduction. Number one being minimizing the environmental radiation as much as possible. And I have an entire playlist discussing this, but these are the simple steps. For minimally invasive lifestyle changes, for stubborn people that don't believe it's bad, you wanna get them a protective shirt and underwear that they can wear underneath their clothes, which will protect vital organs throughout the day. A shielding bed canopy at night, for them to sleep in, which completely reduces radiation exposure for you know, one third of their day or however long they sleep. And if possible, another bed canopy can be used in the daytime for their living area if they're on the computer and you can hardwire everything. And depending on how much that person sleeps and if they use like a head net or a head protection device throughout the day, you know, what devices are active nearby, if they keep their cell phone on airplane mode, Environmental radiation can be reduced by at least 70% without impacting daily life. And I have all of those products available on wifishealing.com. And a trend you're going to notice is I started my businesses based off of what I believed you needed to do to make as many people as happy and healthy as possible. There is a rhyme to the reason. Next up is dietary intervention, a diet that is minimally stressful on the liver as that is the main organ that detoxes and heals our body. You know, when the liver goes, everything else tends to go. We want to consume foods that are easy on digestion, as well as high quality organic foods to remove agrochemical, pesticide, herbicide, fungicide, insecticide, toxic chemical concerns, which is basically going organic. And my suggestion is lean beef, white rice, some type of fiber. I like cannellini beans to, to keep gut motility high. And if you, you know, want a snack, more calorically dense stuff, apples, pears, macadamia nuts, really any high quality organic nut is fine. Uh, the flextrose we launched last week is a good like sweetener source, pure glucose, doesn't stress the body at all. And you definitely want a high quality probiotic. I can't recommend anything else more than water kefir. And you know, under disease circumstances, I would try to stick to this diet as much as possible. Someone like my father, I give him a lot more leeway. Like for breakfast, he's having organic egg whites with organic oatmeal and organic turkey bacon. You know, for lunch, he's having organic sourdough bread with roast beef. It's not perfect. You know, he has some organic potato chips. It's not 100% ideal because he's not like about to die next month, but this is really, really severe, really strict, as good as it gets. And then a minor but important component of diet is using high quality water, starting with glass bottled mineral water, even though it's expensive, it's kind of easy to find. You just go to the supermarket, grab a case or two to start, and then you can you know, migrate to well water or a nearby spring, maybe an in-home filtration system as you, know, you learn more and understand how important it is. And this removes a lot of the toxins and chemicals we are exposed to depending on how much water you drink and cook with. Uh, we have high quality meats available on frankiesfreerangemeat.com and we have water kefir 
Flextros, a bunch of interesting products that you can't get anywhere else on Frankie's freerangefoods.com. Now, although I don't consider any of these things too difficult to do, taking a handful of pills in the morning is much, much easier and much less time consuming than anything on this list. And it, it will make you feel good. So uh, to me, this might be the first step in convincing people a proper supplement regimen. And I'm just going to list what I would give someone, uh, specific doses I can go over in a consultation. But for vitamins, we have B-complex, ascorbic acid, vitamin C, vitamin D3, vitamin K2 in the form MK4. For minerals, we have magnesium glyconate, selenomethionine, which is selenium, uh, copper glyconate, and glycinate, I don't care how you say it, and then iodine, which is sometimes as potassium iodide, and also uh, some trace minerals like manganese, molybdenum, and boron are typically beneficial. But this is the core, this is what people are deficient in. All of these supplements are available on organsupplements.com uh, with the exception of the ascorbic acid. We actually do have uh, an antioxidant support supplement that does have some ascorbic acid in it, but you can also go to amazon.com slash shop slash Frank DeFano if you want to support uh, some scumbags. And all of these vitamins and minerals are listed on there as well. Uh, final step, replicate nature, specifically grounding and getting fresh air. Being in physical contact with the earth, with natural footwear, touching a tree, you know, the tree's roots are deep in the ground, gives us electrons which act as antioxidants, you know, while we sit on our computers at home, while I'm getting fried in here by lights on the second floor of my house, we are not grounded, building up free radicals in our bodies. This cannot be done in a high EMF environment, especially a city and most suburbs where nearby radiation is absorbed into the ground and then transfers into our body. You know, I can't go out in my backyard in New York and ground. You, know, you have to go to a nearby trail or a field, relax for an hour or two. In a rural area, you're typically fine. If you have some forest in your backyard, you're typically fine as there's no high power devices nearby. Getting fresh air, you know, obviously you go outside, uh, keep good air circulation. If you do live in a city like New York, you wanna probably drive an hour or two away from the city a couple times a week if you can. And I mean, honestly, if someone's really sick, which is what I wanted to do with my grandmother, you have to put them in like, this is like, this is very, very severe and, and to try to heal someone, but you don't want them to be in New York City you, like or a city. You have to get them an hour or two away if you can. It, it, it's, that might on its own be, be enough. If you do go hiking, you do want natural footwear. Uh, we do have grounding straps available on wi fi shielding.com. They're, they're a couple dollars and you just put them on your current shoes. You could look up like Native American leather moccasins. And they're kind of expensive. I mean, if you want to spend like $100, $200 on natural footwear and you, know, you can't really wear it anywhere else, because you know, what are you going to wear it with jeans? And they don't look too bad. But again, expensive, not too comfortable. I mean, I usually wear those when I go hiking in the woods once a year. And then you could also get like an air circulator, or just a fan uh, to blow the fresh air in from outside and, and just really fill that room up with the outside air. Uh, so overall, if this diet is adhered to and all steps are followed, the person should feel amazingly better in a couple of days, you know, let alone like two weeks. And I would assume measurable medical progress and disease remission in two to three months maximum. Now, yeah, most of these principles are things the average person needs to do to be healthy. And the average person usually takes small steps in discovering all of these components and implementing them in their life. But when you have an understanding of health and nutrition, and are able to make drastic lifestyle intervention across the board, impressive results can be seen. You know, there are certain blood markers and lab tests that can be done to isolate specific issues with a person, but the guidelines I've set forth today are general, they're safe, accounting for deviations, and obviously there are you know, some changes you know, two, three, four months down the line in regards to supplement protocol, specific foods you're eating, and, and there is some subjective stuff, but this is an amazing first step and, uh, and will get anyone on their way to feeling a lot better. Uh, a lot of this is what I go over in consultations with my clients, but since I'm not really doing consultations anymore because like shills were scheduling them with me to pick my brain, I figured I could do this. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. As I mentioned, we have a couple of different websites you can support me with, everything being linked on frank because there, there are quite a few different businesses. Uh, so if you could please drop a like on the video, 
Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell so YouTube does not assist me with any of those. Therefore, if you can please just share the video on any social media source you have access to. Uh, but outside of that, thanks again for joining me, guys, and I will see you for tomorrow.